Hello, my lovely Leo. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Leo, today we'll do your reading for the month of September 2020. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs for all of you. General reading, general messages. Take what is most resonates resonated with you and leave what doesn't as you always know general readings are might be for you might not and many times i can pick up energy of love commitment money family career whatever i'm picking up would share with you loves so that's why take what resonates most and for many, many of you, might be totally like a personal reading looking like. And for some of you, might be just like, well, I got just one message or two. So this is what I can pick up from this reading. And as well for you and for each zodiac signs for the monthly, I made an extension for all from all zodiac signs from Aries to the Pisces messages from them if you are dealing with somebody the extension loves you will find in the memberships and the joy bottom is just next to the sky bottom all right leo sun moon rising signs and venus signs i do record this reading right on the full moon in pisces on the second of september Woo! the energy is quite high and Many of you might feel it, many of you might sense it, but let's see here. Also, we are in Virgo season, which speaks us to get more organized. And Leos, you are those zodiacs who, that zodiac who take actions. A little much like, you know, I want to do it. And that's good, that's good. But let's see here what we got here from the oracles and how this energy flows for you for this month. From the oracles, we have Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. There is coming abundance, loves, for you, towards you, number 10. Which, for some of you, might start something new at this time or you have worked on an idea for quite a while and now it's starting to pick it up as you know consistency is a key and underneath we have the flamingo spirit embrace in between for some of you definitely here it is something here you you might not experience prior and now it's starting to pick up and this energy is kind of uncomfortable but definitely will benefit it's kind of suits you whatever is here definitely suits you yeah we have unexpected income for you whatever is here the abundance money coming in good job leo whatever you've been doing you've doing in a great way for some of you you are getting some money from a court case there is some legal situation here and you might get the, the winning point here. And I feel here you don't believe this because you've been quite in this poverty energy. Nothing works, nothing good, nothing will be for me. It's like you kind of give up on some things here. But I feel here, family room we have here, there is something here, you definitely will get it at this time. It's like you, you don't really feel this will be you. Yeah, you don't. You feel in that energy like, no, this is not gonna go. This is not gonna work, but that's gonna change. Whatever it is that's gonna change, loves. Look at here, that's a beautiful change for you. So for you Leos who feel like, you know, I give up, because many, many, many people in this world, when it's all about like, I'm done, I'm tired, I'm not entitled, it's not for me. I feel here that needs to be erased from your vocabulary and not only from your vocabulary, from your mind too. Because 
many people they don't feel like well this is not for me whatever you put in the universe it comes to you in a way or another you put good comes more good and vice versa so keep in mind that so whatever you feel right now no this is not for me no uh -uh. that will come to you abundantly beautifully and yes you might be in between cross crossroads but definitely here there is things here you you need to keep up to do it's like keep going there's, there's not a good time for you to give up for some of you you're overly emotional at this time because it's it's constantly here in your head it's constantly in your head for some of you you're looking I will not say desperately for a job, but you definitely hear a kind of worry of a situation here. But Spirit says, give the worries for the angels, give the worries for the universe. So that will come to you. Queen of Cups, water energy here, Ten of Swords, and Seven of Wands. And underneath we have three of pentacles here. Two more card spirit. Justice and five of swords and wheel of fortune. Beautifully. So I feel here there's a situation here you thought will go the opposite, actually comes in your favor, whatever it is. For some of you, I definitely see here a Libra, a Sag, and a water sign. For some of you, you might deal with this zodiac signs but look at here you might feel like i'm giving up ten of swords you see that this man is moving and it's feeling it's still tight but here you are again fighting for what is yours and right for you because you know whoever is that person is not honest manipulative energy here whatever that situation you are the universe is helping you too get through it whatever science comes from the universe don't ignore it loves because this is for you somebody here is lying about something whatever it is so keep working keep doing the work learn more things of what you need to do and learn to be patient and trust the process because you know Leo you are a fire sign the fire energies is most likely I I don't really have time for this I don't have the patience for this and also depends what what signs you still have in your chart because I definitely see here somebody here feels like you know it's a lost cause no it's not whatever it is here actually you deserve more than it is here there's something here in regards to your finances here, Four of Pentacles, holding back. All right, we have Temperance, World, Justice again. Wow, there's three major arcana, three quartz cards. And I feel here it's in regard a separation, divorce, or some legal situation. Star. You do have the Archangel Gabriel and Michael here both of them helping you and helps you for quite a while for you to move forward towards something new okay but for some reason you you kind of not seeing it five of cups here three of wands lovers and seven of wands twice wow all right so we have justice twice from different decks seven of wands from different decks twice so what i'm seeing here i see libra gemini aquarius in here sag energy fire cyan for some of you you might deal here for some of you there is somebody here could be dealing as well with a water sign but i feel here that the feelings been bruised the feelings been hurt and hurt really badly and it's kind of I'm talking here with a very loving person like 
unconditional sending unconditional love but at this time that's not the matter here it's another thing here the universe is telling you that you have a choice here either you are letting go and manifest something new going towards something new or you still resist this there is a choice here and this choice this move gonna happen within one year because ace of pentacles here is right in the middle which that is the timeline for me so for many of you you definitely have a choice clear it up it's kind of you know how you do the spring cleaning the fall organization stuff that's how you do and the universe is offering you something new look at here ace of pentacles will to move you forward to move you forward and you feel like no it's too hard there's too many things here for some of you, you might suffer here from depression or feels like everything is lost after whatever this but spirit says you gotta see the um, the positive part that's the 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 in-between energy here because there's so much here for you to see and find and don't resist this because you resist something absolutely awesome because you might feel like no that's not for me it's like you feel like everything goes the wrong way in in fact the universe is it's showing you there's a better way for some of you yes you've been married for a long time with somebody or committed with somebody for a long long time and you at this point you don't really know how how i could be by myself or how this will be let's see here five of cups for some of you you may feel that you know i don't deserve better or you you've been taught by others or by your ex whatever it is you don't deserve better you are not better you are not good enough which some people are saying this they are not encouraging at all but as hard as it is six of swords there is movement it's like the only choice here because when six of swords is you see this lady sit there but there is a man who helps her to move forward as much as much as you feel like i don't know but people said like yes that's your only choice just to move forward and not stay in this energy anymore there's a new beginning loves you know it high priestess follow your intuition but i feel here six of swords because five of cups and here feels like no this is not for me and things like that six of swords is telling you think of you you do now you what you need to do and this is what you need to do full having a new beginning having something new moving to a new phase of your life there's something here nothing not cannot be back absolutely cannot be back you know it But definitely you you don't see something here and you know that the other thing here leave what I feel here is you don't see who you truly are the deep essence of you because there are things here which strongly keeps you or the, those mm, strong memories for some of you there is a thing here that 
either you are divorcee, either you are widow, or, you know, there is something here definitely you cannot come around with, which is kind of like a, a chapter is gone, it's gone, it's closed. And the universe sends you, hey, we send you love, we send you new things, keep in mind, but you, seven of wands, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. I'm not making it, and it's not, it, I don't know how to do it. That's a struggle. But Spirit says, you can overcome whatever is out there. Whatever past energy is over there. Yes, you can do it. You can overcome it. You are on a new path. So, definitely here. As much as you try to resist, the universe is still pushing you, you know? And I feel here, eventually, you will work on to move forward. For some of you, you know that there is no way to go back to that same job. And you got to learn something new. As you see here, this man in the Three of Pentacles, he is studying something. For some of you, you might feel like, you know, I'm too old to go back to school. You're never too old to learn something new. That will prove to you once you start it. But I feel here the universe is giving you abundance and sees you that, yes, you, you darling, have a new thing here. There's a change. And this change, you cannot avoid it. This change could happen a year ago or could happen even this year starts for you. You might not see how to. It's like you have that energy like, okay, if I'll do it, how I'll make it or how I will, you know, that comes here, something here for is like how I can overcome whatever it is or there's a thing here you've done for so long and how I can do it but it's like it's showing you that you can live differently this life is not what you probably ever thought so that's a that's a massive change for you Uncomfortable, of course, very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. For some of you, definitely you are divorcing somebody. For some of you, yes, somebody is not next to you right now. And the universe is telling you that the healing and peace and sending good vibes is the only thing you will need at this time. One advice for you, Leo, one is for, from the oracles, as we have the embrace in between, which oracle speaks to you that might be uncomfortable, this times might be not, or might be not as much uncomfortable, but embrace it, because it's much needed, and don't resist it, take action. Because you will, you will. Because I feel here, there is a Leo here who is such a strong soul. Ten of Pentacles. What could be more beautiful than this? Take your time, Four of Swords. Take your time, whatever it is, take your time. But you know. There is something awesome for you, Leo. And for those of you who are dealing to a divorce, there is a winning situation. For those of you who are, you know, somebody passed away or a loved one gone is gone, the universe is bringing to you something in the form of abundance. And for those of you who definitely feel kind of lonely sometimes 
there's new things yes we do have all a past we cannot change that but we definitely can change what is coming towards us or what we allow to come in our life so i feel here my leo here needs to hear strongly there is movement for some of you this movement you might feel in that energy like of a struggle for a few months but definitely here whatever you are right now i don't see you next year whatever you are right now in this place bad boy when it starts it's kind of when it's raining it's pouring which that is the positivity the abundance the money for some of you you are definitely moving to a new home buy a new car there's definitely here huge huge things for some of you there is definitely here good money coming towards you and i feel here many of you still learning still doing it and some sometimes feels like no this is not gonna work yes we'll do we'll do work because as the spirit always said never give up you have a purpose on this earth and that purpose first thing first is don't give up on your dreams and what you want to do because sometimes people do that and they leave somebody else dream but i feel here my leo here a strongly a strongly feels like i can do it i am a leader and these two cards i see determination i am determined and king of wands is that person who is an entrepreneur somebody who is a go-getter and is like you know i know what i'm working on and i know what i will get from this it's not like i'm i'm going fishing and let's see what i'm catching no king of wands knows what will catch kind of so definitely here this is a positive change Okay, so Leo, I feel here this probably you are the most positive sign I'm reading for this month. There is a little like there, like ah, uh, but once you keep keep doing what you need to, you are on the right path because Wheel of Fortune that was speaking to us, the right path. All right, loves, if you want to continue with me and find out about the other zodiac signs, what you might hear from them or what the dynamics are between you two, what their message are for you, I will see you in the extended. Otherwise, lovely months for you. Keep doing what you're doing. You do great. And see you next time. Namaste.